All right, guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Um, today we're going to go over a question that's come through from Mark Osborne. Um, he's a kid that's into phot uh, photography and filming. So great work, Mark. Keep on, keep that up. He's come through with a couple of questions that have been really good. So he's got another one today. A uh, very common question as well. It can be a little bit tricky. So what we'll do is we'll go over the question, then we'll jump into both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro to give you uh, give you the example of how this um, how this can really impact such a basic thing. Uh, the question is basically. Um, when I bring a clip into Premiere Pro CS5, I use a dynamic link to put it into After Effects, do what I need to do in After Effects, save it, and come back into uh, Premiere Pro. When I put a cross fade and cross dissolve on that clip, it just does a dip to black or fade to black. Um, how do I stop that? Basically, what's happened is uh, the dynamic link, that's pretty much just working between Premiere Pro and After Effects to be able to sequence your clips together so you can do effects in Final Cut Pro, uh, sorry, effects in After Effects and it makes the same difference over in Premiere Pro. So what's actually happening here, Mark, is we, we have gone through this, so I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this has worked for you, but basically what's happening is you've got, on all your clips, you've got a things called handles. Whenever you make a slice in the clip, you've got a things called handle. Now you need to have um, available frames to delete to the left and the right of that clip to be able to help you out, to be able to do um, an active transition. Otherwise, it's gonna do exactly that. Sometimes the transition won't work at all. It'll drop onto the clip, but you'll get no effect. So what we'll do, let's jump into Premiere Pro to start with, then we'll go into Final Cut Pro. Just some of you guys are on Premiere, some, on, some people are on Final Cut Pro, so I thought I'd do it throughout both. Uh, what we've got here is just, sorry, I turned the volume down. What we've got here is just a um, just a, a 12 second clip of Royce King just doing a hang five around Macfield's bowl. What we'll do is let's make a slit right in the middle of the clip, or roughly in the middle, and now we've got two separate tracks. So we've got the left and the right the left and the right. So what we'll do, we'll go down over here. I've already got it open because I was doing it before. We've got uh, cross dissolve. And what's going to happen is when we go to drop it on the top of that thing, obviously we get the red bar, which is just a render. Um, and what, do you, what you're going to see is when it plays, there was absolutely no effect there. So you can see when I'm scrubbing over the top of the cross dissolve, just like that. There is absolutely no effect that's happening now. That's because Premiere is saying, okay, we can't perform this transition because you've got a frame, you've got a split clip up, but it's the exact same frame. Basically, I can't do anything for you. So what needs to happen, this is where handles come in. Most cross dissolves are defaulted to about a second. So what you need to do is you need to have, usually you wouldn't do a cross dissolve in the middle of this clip, but it's good when you're going from uh, this scene to another shot. That's exactly when you would use a cross dissolve. Now, what I need to do is I need to delete this. Just to give you guys the example of how it can work, is I'll need to delete a little bit of information to the left and to the right. Now, this is basically creating new handles. So, when I go back over to my, I'll go to a hand tool, I'll just delete that, delete that, bring the clip together. Now, what you see is I've now got this cut section here. So, it just cuts through. But, for some reason, obviously, I wouldn't be using this clip um, I wouldn't be using a cross dissolve on this clip at all, but this is just an example, guys. So what I can do now is I can add a cross dissolve. It's going to go, all right, sweet, no worries. I'll uh, hit return to render inside of Premiere Pro. And what happens is, is now you'll see the effect. There you go. So you can see that. We'll scrub back through it. That's a cross dissolve happening there. Again, I would never do it on this clip. I've got no need to. It just looks stupid. But this is the example. So that's what's happened when I've deleted about a second to the left, or probably... Um, probably 15 frames left and right. It's given me about a second of handles that I can use to be able to create this cross dissolve. Um, works the same with all the other ones. You've got additive dissolves, dip to black, dip to white, all the same sort of thing. It works with the majority of the transitions. You need handles. Let's jump over into Final Cut Pro. It's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. Everything's just done a little bit differently. So we'll go to the start. Let's go right into the center again. Hit the B for the blade tool, make a split. Again, uh, right click on the edge, add transition. I've got my default as cross dissolve because it's probably the more common, one of the more common dissolves. Um, and it it does go to about a second. So, or actually not about, perfectly a second. So that's the default duration. Now you can change that if you wanted to, but duration you can always just you can always just pull it out to be able to adjust it. But again, I'll go through and you'll see absolutely no effect is happening so the, this this clip hasn't got the music on it but it's the exact same clip no effect is happening whatsoever same thing the handles now i delete that what i'm going to do is i'll zoom in a little bit and let's delete say probably roughly about a second all up let's go a little bit more let's go 
a big section so you can see how dramatic the, the dissolve actually works. Right click on the clip, uh, drag the dissolve out. So let's go, you know, about two seconds is right there. It's good enough. Um, and again, you'll see this effect work straight through. There you go. Works straight away. Now that's because I've created new handles. Again, you can't just cut the clip and then add um, a dissolve in because it's not going to work. If I wanted to, I can add a cross dissolve at the end of any clip will always turn to a fade to black. Basically, that's all it's going to do. It's exact same with the start. It's going to be a fade in. And there we go. I've got three dissolves straight away. And if you've ever had that problem, that's what it is. It's called handles. It really, really, really can muck you up. I remember the first time I started doing this work, it was a pain in the ass. So hope this helped, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, make sure you let me know. Um, I intend to do a little bit more of Final Cut Pro and in, in Premiere as Pro, uh, Premiere Pro as well because they're the more two common... Um, programs will premiere pro more common than final cut pro but um yeah anyway guys hope that helps any questions give me a shout all right thanks guys bye <laughs>